ladies and gentlemen, right now in our audience, we have Lindor, the bus driver who saved the lives of those six kids on the bus. So you knew something was wrong. You knew you had to think quickly on your feet. Yes. Um, I was doing a route and had a smell. And I stopped the bus to inspect the smell. And then upon smelling the uh, smoke, it kind of like risen from under the stern column of the bus. And so I had told the kids to go to the back of the bus so that they wouldn't smell the smoke or be harmed by it. And so after that, it just started to turn into a cloud of black smoke. And so at that moment, I decided that we are going to evacuate this bus and we're just going to let it do what it's going to do. <laughs> well, that was a heck of a good idea. Yeah. Now, reports say that school buses are seven times safer than a regular vehicle. Obviously, mm -hmm. fires can happen in any type of vehicle, but as far as buses, they are heavier, so they distribute the forces a little bit better than a regular light truck or car. Um, they're highly regulated. It does beg the question that, okay, seat belts aren't on school buses. Now, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that seat belts aren't really necessary on buses, Dr. Yeah, Sears. You know, and that, that's sometimes counterintuitive because you think, well, seat belts are safer. But like you mentioned, a, a school bus is so big and heavy, If usually if it hits something, it's gonna win that, that, that other thing moves out of the way and the bus just kind of slows down. You don't get that high impact stop you know, the, the impact inside the bus that you would in a car. And the sa safety statistics are actually staggering mm -hmm. on the positive side. Oh, yeah. Of all the kids that I believe were injured going to school, only 2% of those occurred on the bus, despite right. the great majority of kids going to school on a bus. Yeah, I but, but I do think that, you know, obviously we're going to sensationalize when a bus accident happens. Recently, very sadly, in New Jersey, a bus crash killed an 11-year-old girl. Uh, 17 others were injured. It was when, a, I believe, a dump truck, truck hit the rear of the bus. The it bus went the, into a pole. It actually broadsided the bus, and, the, and no design uh, in the bus could have really changed how that happened. What's the best way in an emergency to to teach our kids yeah, how to do this Certainly, you know, the, probably the most important thing is to not panic, listen to the bus driver, and leave your belongings behind. Don't try to get your backpack in your books because that's just going to slow you down. It's going to crowd the aisles. It's going to slow some other kids down. And you're going to be exiting row by row and usually alternating side to side, to side so that you can get out quickly. And, and usually the first kids off the bus, especially if you're using that back exit, you have to kind of jump down a little bit. The first kids off should kind of turn around and kind of help the kids get off behind them. Lindor, anything we're missing? I would just like everybody to know the driver is uh, authorized to let the kids know every exit and every emergency on the bus so your kids are well educated on what to do in upon emergency. And you know, wow. we put our kids in your trust and you did an excellent job. You did. Thank you, Laura. And thank you to all the bus drivers out there who get our kids to school safely each and every day.